This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. When sending an email, it is possible to ask Outlook to track whether the person you're sending to has read that email or received it. Now this can either be done on an email by email basis, or it can be done as a global setting so that all your emails that you sent are tracked. However, any email sent across the internet, so from your machine to another machine via two ISP mail servers, you are not guaranteed that that receipt, the tracking, will work. So it's not something that you ought to bear in mind or learn to trust. It will be trustworthy if your internal network works on an exchange server and you send an email from one internal machine to another, then you can trust that tracking that if you don't get a receipt that says the person has read it, then they haven't read it. And if you don't get a receipt that says they've opened it, then they haven't opened it. So just to bear that in mind if you're sending an email across the internet. So how do we ask for a receipt or a delivery notification? If it's just for an individual email, then we do that on an individual email basis. So we start a new email. You do all your addressing as normal, subject, body, etc. And then you go to options on the ribbons. And there are two little boxes that you could place a tick in. We could request a delivery receipt, tick in the box. We could request a read receipt. So if the receiving machine understands these instructions, when the person gets the email, you will get an email back that says, this person has received this email. When they read it, you'll then get another email back that says, this person has read this email. But it's all reliant on the receiving email program understanding this request for a delivery receipt and for a read receipt. You will find that if someone tries to do the same to you, so to track an email that comes to you and you're using Outlook, Outlook will actually ask you what to do about that receipt, whether it should send it or whether it should not send it. So even though Outlook can spot the request for a receipt, you can actually stop the receipt from going back. So these are not two options that you would want to wholly rely on when sending emails across the internet, but they might be useful just to see if emails are getting through. So it's a delivery receipt just to prove the email has actually got there. A read receipt says that the person has opened the email. It shouldn't really be a read receipt, it should be an open receipt to say they've opened it because they might not read it. So that's in an individual email. You generate the email and then on the options ribbon, either a tick in request a delivery receipt or a tick in request a read receipt or both. You can put both on or one or the other on and then send. Now, if this is an option you would like to set globally, so you want all your emails to have receipts, then we need to do that elsewhere. So if we close this email and don't save the changes, and then we go to file and options and mail. So it's file options within the Outlook options dialog box, choose mail, scroll right down the list of options until we see tracking. And this is how we can decide whether receipts go or not. So delivery and read receipts help provide confirmation that messages were successfully received. They do if the recipient machine returns them. Not all email servers and applications support sending receipts. So there's Outlook telling you that obviously they're not always going to be successful. For all messages sent, request a delivery receipt, a read receipt. So you could place a tick in either of these or in both of them, depending on what you're after. And then every email you send will ask for a receipt. Could I have a receipt, please, from the receiving machine? If that machine decides to give you a receipt, then you will get that receipt. Then we have a little option for how Outlook should deal with emails that are incoming asking you for a receipt. Should it always send a read receipt anyway? Should it never send a read receipt? Or should it ask you each time whether you want to send a read receipt? Sometimes you're quite happy for that receipt to go back so that you know the other person knows that you've read that email. And sometimes you think, well, I'm not letting the receipt go back. I don't want them to know that I've actually read it. So it's these little options here. The first two decide whether you actually send receipt requests with your emails outgoing. And the second little section is how you deal with read receipts coming in.